beautiful people welcome back if you're new welcome welcome my name is Georgia so we are going to do a recap and review of love and marriage Huntsville season 8 episode 15 titled head beach in charge like the ocean beach and um so let's get started so we're we're continuing from the ladies there in St. Thomas they have just uh they wrapped up dinner and it's now the next day and the ladies are about to have a beach day they're gonna do a little shopping and then they're gonna do dinner so they're gonna be out of the house all day long so we start out with um, everybody checking in with family we have miss Nell calling Chris Fletcher and let him know she and Kimmy got into a little altercation Chris is like what not Kimmy why so miss Nell was like yeah we both got strong personalities so and Maybe, you know, our personalities clash, but you know what? Um, I don't think we're ever going to mess. She's like, I've been trying for a while to get to um, be cool with her, with Kimmy, but I don't think our personalities mesh. So her husband is like, you know what? Just do your best to have some fun and hurry up and come back to me. Then we have the ladies um, getting ready for the day. We have Sonny checking in with Moses, asking him to say a prayer for her because some of the ladies came at her the night before. People who she don't even know were coming at her and um, she needed a little bit of extra prayer. Same thing Moses said to, to, um, to Sonny, try your best to have a good time and come on home. That's basically all they can say. What else they going to say? Because they can't promote violence like kick ass or something like that. No, you're not going to say that like have some fun come on and come on home so then we have a uh, sunny not sunny we have stormy and trish talking about what happened the night before about you know the little argument they got into and about what mel was saying about destiny and um stormy was like damn it's not even the first day that's just the first night and then trish was like i hope destiny hurry up and come here so she could come defend herself because what was happening last night was crazy as they say so okay now so everybody gets some um, dress and they head to the beach they have their little section and mel is like you know what let me call my island boo to make sure that we set up good and of course everybody thought that was cute because she's now flirting with the guys which is what you're supposed to do when you're on vacation you gotta have some fun so the gentlemen who were the greeters the day before, they came over and, you know, brought them some drinks, got them set up with some jet skis. Everybody went on the jet ski. Mel was like, well, if you know you're on a Mel vacation, you know I got to get on these jet skis when I get here in the island. So Mel was on the skis, her friend Shanita. We see uh, Tisha. Tisha's like, you know what? I can't even swim, but what? You only live once. YOLO. So she gets on the jet skis. And they're having a good time. Of course, we have some of the ladies just chilling, you know, under the umbrellas on the beach. We see Miss Nell chilling. Um, we see Lawrence. Lauren, don't we see you girl trying to stay out of drama, but we see you. And um, the ladies are having a conversation. At one point, we hear Shanita go, they go to ops again. <laughs> I'm like, Shanita is funny. Because at this point, it was Kimmy and Stormy and uh, Letitia talking. The thing is, Letitia was telling the two ladies that she didn't know that Stormy was coming. But she has to let Destiny know that Stormy's here. So she has to go back to the house to go meet Stormy when Stormy arrives. She was hoping that some of the girls would go with her to meet Stormy. Like, nah, you gotta do this one on your own, boo. So, with them um, talking about the ocean, uh, everybody come back together. Tisha's like... For Tisha to be saying certain things and then turn around and be in the instigator, I don't get it. She comes over and she said, well, you know, guys, this is Mel's vacation. You know, we have to get along. Let's, you know, let's, let's all have a good time. And then she's like, well, I got to go and, um, go meet Destiny. But before Tisha left and before they had come together back as a group, cause they had split off. We had, um, we had stormy not stormy we had sunny telling the ladies like listen i'm here to have a good time i'm here to have fun at the end of the day i don't have no problem with nobody mel told her listen in a roundabout way not so many words just ignore destiny when she comes 
you know you don't have to get into nothing with her just ignore her just be sure that um Shanita and I will be watching to make sure everything goes good. You don't have nothing to worry about. All right. So we have now Tisha goes back to the, the Airbnb to meet Destiny. Destiny comes in with a t-shirt with her face on it that says case dismissed. Because if you guys remember, the case that LeBaric had against her got dismissed and he refiled it and is now in court again. I'm like, oh my God, this guy is not going to stop. So she came in with that shirt. Teacher was like, what kind of shirt is that you wearing? She's like, well, I was there. I got arrested. It was not fun. Case dismissed. And I don't need another t-shirt to say it. So with that, now Tisha tell her, listen, girl, I didn't know it was going to be, but Sonny is here. And um, Destiny was like, well, I'm already here. So what can I do? And then Tisha goes to tell her something else. She says she met up with uh, Mel and um, she met up with Mel and um, Kimmy. But I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't this happen like the first, the second episode of the season? Why is Tisha bringing this up now after just being at the beach saying that, you know what? Let's all get together. So they're using the producers. It's obvious the producers are using Tisha to stir the pot. She's going to be the bone carrier. They want the drama and this is what's happening. So she goes to tell Destiny that her and Mel and um, her and Mel and Kimmy had met up and they happened to have a conversation and it was said that Mel says she don't know what Destiny is doing because they had a conversation about Destiny still being friends with Martel, not knowing if they slept together and so on and so forth. But they talked about it at the house. Destiny came in a confessional and told us the only reason why her and Martel are still friends is because they have not slept together. And she keeps saying that, but Tisha had to bring that up then. And it comes up again. We're going to get, we're going to get there. So she's like, you know what? Melody said this about you last night that she don't F with you. So, um, Destiny was like, you know what? If you guys can be around, she's like, I just want to make sure everything is going to be cool with you and her. But why bring that up? Why does it need to be said? So Destiny was like, listen, if you guys could be with her, I could be around her. So with that now, she takes her through the house and she's showing them where they're sleeping. It seemed like Destiny was cool with it. She didn't have no problem with it. Less of a problem than than Tisha and, and Kimmy had with it. So she's like, no problem. You know, it is what it is. It's, you know, we're here together. I'm here to have fun. Let's have fun, fun. Then she shows her the view. She's like, so why didn't you start with this beautiful view before you told me all of that? This is what you should be telling me about. Not all of that. So you see that Destiny really didn't want the drama. All right. Now we switch back to the ladies. They're done by the ocean and now they're going shopping. So they went around they went to a jewelry store they had, were looking at really expensive pieces we had stormy buy a moon ring for thirty six hundred dollars she said if you know me you know i'm in my chakra does that do this i do that and i wanted the ring so she bought the ring for three thousand six hundred dollars there was another ring that mel picked that shanita picked up and showed to mel it was twenty two thousand dollars like whoa okay girls you got it like that you got it but it looked like stormy was the only one to buy anything so then they go um clothes shopping as well to buy and mel bought a cover-up to put on over the shorts and shirt she had on the ladies also bought some other stuff so they did a little bit of shopping so that was it with the ladies now we get to dinner i, I think they have the restaurant for the evening the ladies get there first and then we have tisha and destiny join Everybody, when they, when Tisha and Destiny came in, everybody looking at Destiny's face. And Kimmy said she's looking at Destiny's expression to figure out how this evening was going to go. Because based on Destiny's expression, it was either going to go good or it was going to go bad. So the ladies, everybody sit down. They started, um, they're playing around now. Mel is like, how did everybody enjoy their day? Tisha, I see that you went on the jet ski. And, um... And we're talking about how Tisha was having a good time on the jet ski. She was, you know, pulling circles around everybody. And then they're talking about all the flirting that was happening. Um, Shanita was messing with Mel because she was flirting with the guy who was the greeter. And then Mel went, well, you had the chef texting you back and forth all night. <laughs> so 
they had a little conversation about that. Shanita was like, you know how it is when you get a little bit of attention. You, t- you tend to enjoy it. Then Shanita was like, you know what? Your name is now the ops. I'm taking it from Tisha and giving it to you because you are here telling people business. So they had a little good kiki moment regarding that. And um, when did the con- t- conversation turn? Oh, when it was started talking about marriages. We had Sonny ask um, Mel, you know, how soon before you and Martel got married? And Mel told her it was a matter of months. They started dating, and nine months later, they were married. They went around the table. Miss Nell said it was like a year for her. And then, um, then we had Shanita ask Latricia, when did you get married? I mean, you know, how long before it took you? Zach, are you married? And Latricia was like, Trisha, you know, as she always thought, well... It's a little complicated. <laughs> and everybody at the table started laughing. Somebody said, that's how she started. That's how she answered every question regarding her marriage. So, um, Shanita was like, what? Explain it to me. Because, and then when she, Trisha tried to explain it, she was like, are you out here judging people? And you over there, you still married and you dating? Like, you know, you know, she's like, I'm judging you or something that she said. And Latricia was trying to explain herself and it started to get a little bit um yeah it started to get a little bit serious and then the ladies went off that and then i think it was shanita who was carrying the conversation at the table um somebody asked mel if she missed marriage and she's like no and that's why i don't want to ever get married again because of what i went through she's like you know i i um I like the sanctity of marriage until, you know, everything happened and my marriage was dissolved. So no, I don't, uh, I don't miss it. Of everything that I went through in my marriage, I don't miss it. So then, um, Shanita was like, well, destiny, but before Shanita went there, destiny went in the confession and told her that she does know Shanita from them working at a restaurant together where Shanita was the waitress and she was the hostess. I guess that make a difference. I don't know. But um, I'm sure Shanita was making all the tips, girl. The waitresses usually make all the tips unless y'all put it in a tip jar and everybody shared it. But uh, Shanita was making her money. With that personality, I could tell she was bringing in the money. Um, Then we have Shanita asking Destiny, what's your story? And of course, there is a quiet that comes over the room. And, um, Destiny gets back in the confession, like, haven't seen this woman in years. Then she gonna come ask me what's my story. I gotta tell her nothing. So now we have, um, we have somebody ask, ask Sonny if her and Destiny were friends. And Sonny was like, no, I didn't consider her my friend. We were working. We had a working relationship. And then um, somebody was like, but y'all hang out together. And she's like, yeah, I've seen Destiny about two times since I've left the show. And uh, but Destiny jumped in, but you were also managing my music career. And we already know, Sonny already went in and explained about that. You know, she had um, Destiny and Melody open for Monica at one point because she was helping her. She was trying to help her get on track because she ain't had nothing going, like she said. But then um, it started getting a little bit loud where we have destiny pulls out her phone and shows we're trying to find the timeline of when moses was dating destiny and dating sunny and dating other people so we back at it again we had destiny pull out her phone and scrolling through like he texted me that like high school stuff you know how it is with the girls in high school you know how it is where you have two girls dating each other and they're trying to compare with the, what the man what the man is doing or whatever. Nobody seems to be upset at Moses. Like, come on, ladies. And that is what Stormy went in the confessional and said. He's like, I don't understand why Sonny would want Moses after she knows that Moses has been with Destiny and now he's with her, putting his thing in both of them and all that. And she just thought that was so disgusting. And... That's what dating is about. You date multiple people until you decide who you want to settle down with. But um, she said they started dating in August and they were married by December. And according to Destiny, he was still texting her in October. So everybody got into the um the discussion. Of course, everybody is listening. The tension in the room is heightened at this point. 
And finally, it kind of died down with Sonny saying, well, I got the ring. And Destiny was like, well, you got the hardware. I got the heartstrings. I'm like, what? Girl, that's the first I've heard of that one. Somebody put that on a t-shirt and sell it. But that was that. She was like, well, oh, well, I'm not going to be going back and forth. I think Sonny was the bigger person where this is concerned. Because it's obvious that Destiny was hurt and she wanted to still go at Sonny. She thought Moses was going to wait around for her forever till she get through what she's going through with LeBaric. And as you know, guys know, he's always pulled her back in court again. So he wasn't going to hang around. He wants to move on with his life. So with that said, now we think everything was done. The ladies have their to-go boxes. Everybody's finishing up their drinks. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some sleep. We had Miss Nell asking what's on store for tomorrow. Melody was like, we're going to go here. We're going to go there. We're going to finish the day with dinner overlooking the island at a hilltop restaurant. Here comes Tisha. I'm like, oh my God. And as Kimmy said, Tisha does not know how to check the temperature in the room. So Tisha goes in like, Mel, you have anything you want to talk to Destiny about? Destiny, you got anything you want to talk to Mel about? Both of them were like, no, no, I don't, I don't have anything. So then, um, so then Tisha was like, well, yesterday you told us that you don't F with Destiny. So there it is now. It starts up. Everybody's holding their face over their hand. They're looking through their fingers and like, what is going on? You even have Lauren pop her head out from wherever she was. Because Lauren is trying to stay in the background. We have Shanita who don't mind stepping forward. But Lauren is just chilling in the background. Girl, let me get through this and we move on to the next thing. We have Destiny accusing Mel of coaching um, Ariane of how to respectfully cheat. She's letting everybody at the table know that Mel and Ariane were texting back and forth, trying to let Ariane let her know when Martel was going to be over there. She told Melanie, this is what she's saying. She told Melanie, girl, it's weird that you texted the mistress back and forth. Let's just put on all black and go over there and whoop that ass. And Mel was like, what are you talking about? Respectfully cheat. Is there such a thing? And of course, production with their messy self as well. Went all the way back to season one, episode two or three, when we had Mel sitting at the table with Marceau and Tisha and Maurice and Kimmy and saying how Martel is throwing his relationship, his side relationship in her face. And there is a way for things to be done. He's becoming arrogant with it and stuff. And you have Kimmy asking, is there a way to respectfully cheat? Because she says she never did such a thing. So production is throwing it in there. The saying out there is that um, there is tension behind the scenes with Melody and Carlos. And they are trying to somehow sabotage Mel and everything that she's doing. So now they're, they're using the other castmates to do things to Mel for her to, um, I don't know, get off the show. But as it turns out, it seems like the show is going down in itself because the ratings have been getting lower and lower every week because there's, uh, considered a blackout. You're not supposed to be watching the show, but yes. So that's what's going on behind the scenes. So we have destiny putting it all out there. Everybody is ears. Everybody's listening. Nobody is, um, Nobody is interrupting while they go back and forth. At one point, we see Destiny get up in the heated argument. And at the same time, we see Shanita push back her chair and get up too. And everybody's like, no need to get up. Let's just sit down and talk. But, um, yeah, it got heated. And that is where the episode ended. Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be continued next week. And from the previews that we see, we also see Martel get into it with Marceau. And he's throwing it out there that they used to mess with the same women. And Tisha is like, show me these women. I don't know if the 20, if it's the 20 women that Miss um, Wanda keep talking about or did talk about. But it seemed like the last few episodes are going to be explosive. They are throwing everything on the table. They figure, okay, if we're going to go out, let's go out with a bang. But it's getting heated at the vacation that Mel invited all the ladies to. So, yeah, guys, that's where it is. 
We have Destiny and Melody finally talking, but it's in a tone where um, it's not respectful. And before they got into the heated argument, we heard Destiny tell Melody that, you know, the tone that she uses with her sometimes is as if she's talking to a child and she doesn't appreciate it. Mel actually used that tone to answer her and we have we have Tisha saying, Mel, do you hear what she's saying? And Mel is like, I'm listening. And she's like, do you hear what she's saying? And um, she's like, yeah, I hear her. And then that's when they got into the heated argument. But like I said, from other clips that we've seen, I think they have a one-on-one where they've calmed down. But by now, everything is out there on the table. So, you know, Destiny told Melody, she's, she's like, it took me three years before I even talk to that girl martin martel is my friend so of course i'm gonna talk to him and um and melody was like but how are you gonna go to the party or whatever and post my children around his mistress it's just disrespectful you're supposed to be my friend that's not something you do if you're friend with the ops then you're the ops according to shanita that's Janita was ready to throw down. I could see why she, why her and Mel are friends. Oh my God, she got your back. All right, guys. So yeah, that is the review on the recap. I am curious to see what happens next week. I hope Mel and Kimmy have a conversation and dead whatever is going on. But it seems like they're using Trisha. I'm um, not Trisha. They're using Letitia to be the bone carrier, to be the pot star, to be the drama queen. I don't know what it is they're using her for, but production is using Letitia. Letitia, Lord, all these names, all these M's and all these L's. All right, guys, thank you for watching this review. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Check out the links below. Check all the links out below. Check out my Shopify store, my Etsy store. Make sure you go down below and check out all the links. Um, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it if you wish. And until next time, be sure to take care of yourselves and your families. Bye-bye.